Hello everyone, hope you're all pumped up for another Vectors lesson. We're now up to lesson 17, so you guys should know quite a lot about vectors by now. If you still have no idea what a vector is, then I have failed you as a teacher. Okay, so vectors. Uh, we're now going to talk about the commutative, also associative and distributive laws for vectors. Now, before we talk about each one, each law for a vector, we're also going to remind you what it means using a normal, a real number example. So let's start off by talking about commutative law. Okay, so what is the commutative law? Well, let's say we have two variables, A and B, and they both contain real numbers. So for example, A could be 3 or B could be 5. Okay, so A and B are real numbers, then A plus B is equal to B plus A, right? Because 3 plus 5 is equal to 5 plus 3. Okay, now let's talk about the case for vectors. Now, for vectors, it is actually the same thing. A, vector A plus vector B is the same as vector B plus vector A. So, let's see how this works. If you have two vectors, let's say you have vector A, and I'm going to draw a horizontal line for vector A. And you have vector B. So I'm going to draw a diagonal line starting at the head of vector A. So we have vector A over here and vector B over here. So this is right now A vector A plus vector B because the tail of vector B is joined onto the head of vector A and that's how you do vector addition. Now here, starting from the tail of vector A to the head of vector B is the result from adding these two vectors together. So this in the middle is A plus B. Okay, now let's say this is our origin and we, instead of going this way, okay, so this is the origin this is this point here is the origin and instead of going down this way to start off I'm now gonna start with vector B so I'm now gonna start here so starting with vector B and then I join onto vector A So I'll put vector A over here. And then what do we write in the middle? B plus A is also A plus B. So therefore, that has proven this law to be true. A plus B is the same as B plus A. It doesn't matter whether you go this way, right? This plus this will give you this, or you can go this way. So this vector plus this vector will give you this vector. So um, A plus B is the same as B plus A. Okay, now let's look at the commutative law for multiplication. If two numbers are real numbers, if A and B are real numbers, AB equals BA. For example, 5 times 3 is the same as 3 times 5. So that's the commutative law. Okay, uh, now let's have a look at commutative law for vectors. Does A times B, A 
dot product b does it equal b times a well let's check it out now using the definition for the dot product a dot b is the same as vector magnitude of a times magnitude of b times cos theta where theta is the angle between b and a okay now if you have b dot a uh, using that same formula it's vector magnitude of b times magnitude of a times cos theta and theta is going to be the same thing right doesn't matter how you draw the vectors so I could have vector a over here vector b over here let's make it a bit bigger so let's say this angle is 120 degrees okay and let's say the magnitude of a is 3 and the magnitude of b is magnitude of a is 3 the magnitude of b is uh, 5 okay it doesn't matter whether you go a dot b which will be 3 times 5 times cos 120 or you go b dot a which will be 5 times 3 times cos 120 these two things will give you the same thing so therefore for vectors this is also true okay so actually this video we're just gonna do the commutative law and then we'll get to the other laws later so the commutative law okay rather than writing it all out I've just typed a summary table for you guys so the commutative law is true for real numbers a plus b equals b plus a uh, adding and multiplying a times b equals b times a and vector addition is also commutative so vector a plus vector b equals vector b plus vector a and vector, vector dot product is also commutative so a dot b is the same as vector b dot vector a okay thanks for watching guys see you next time